By the afternoon, Gezi Park in Istanbul was packed with the sort of people who were supposed to be doing well in the new Turkey, mainly the young and well-educated. All kinds of groups have joined the Gezi bandwagon, from gay rights campaigners to trade unionists and old-style leftists. This protest is now about much more than its original purpose of saving this green space from developers. It's the biggest challenge the government has faced in 10 years in power. Of course, this is not a revolution. This is not like Arab Spring, or it's not a, about, uh, it's not like the Occupy Wall Street. This is very uh, Anatolian style. Uh, we, we stand together with all kinds of different people, and yes, everybody was so fed up, so I think we will be able to change. The area around the park, controlled for now at least by protesters, is marked by barricades, and this afternoon the police didn't cross them, which meant after days of violence it was peaceful, both sides waiting for the other's next moves. Many protesters are from Turkey's expanding middle class, worried that the lifestyles and freedoms they want are threatened by a democratically elected prime minister with Islamist beliefs who they say is behaving like an autocrat. The Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan in Algeria today on his latest tour of Arab countries wants to exploit Turkey's position bridging East and West. He scorned the protesters who say his activism, including backing Syria's armed opposition, is needlessly entangling Turkey in dangerous, often sectarian Middle East violence. But in Ankara, the capital, police handed out flowers to protesters and there was a limited apology from the Deputy Prime Minister. He said sorry for excessive force used by the police against green campaigners, but not for other police actions. What is plain, though, is that the Prime Minister is reaching the limits of what he can do without the consent of Turks who didn't vote for him. Fans from Besiktas, one of Istanbul's big football clubs, organized this anti-government demonstration. We're united, they chanted, against fascism. Erdogan's Turkey seemed to be a runaway success, creating jobs at home and flexing new diplomatic and political muscles abroad. But now it's looking more tarnished, more troubled than its friends or its enemies ever realized. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News, Istanbul.